Hey everyone, so this is going to be my Alpha's Death Explained video. I want to discuss what happens in the comics, the events that built to her death, how Negan joining the Whisperers contributed to that, and also, I guess, briefly talk about the aftermath. I won't be going really far in terms of the build up to her death or the aftermath. I'll be sticking to issues like what, 152, 153, up until issue 157 around there. Like, that's the most important part, anyways. And I think gives us what we need, and also I can make my point across with that. What I also really want to do with this is translate this to the show because even though Angela Kang is definitely going to change up a lot this season, and she will, like for sure, there's still going to be some major beats that she's likely going to hit because they're just iconic in the comic and there's no way she's going to pass that up, right? Like I think Negan for sure is going to kill Alpha. Yes, Carol could, but I think Negan really should, and I'll explain why in this video. It's just like the Whisperer Pike moment, right? Like all the deaths were different, but that moment still happened. Like you can't pass on that. So yeah, just so you guys know, this is just my interpretation of the source material and how I believe they're going to adapt it. Before we jump in, if you're new here and want more Walking Dead content like this, including reviews of each episode when it premieres in just 29 days, we're basically almost four weeks away now. Also including trailer breakdowns, new info breakdowns, and etc. Just make sure to be a subscriber. This year is going to be a really, it's going to be a roller coaster of emotions. Last year was pretty big because of Rick's death episode or departure, I guess, and the intro to the Whisperers, this year has the chance of being bigger with Michonne's departure, the death of the Whisperers, the Commonwealth introduction later on in the season, Maggie potentially coming back in the final episode, and also some Rick Grimes movie teasers because we know we're going to get one at some point, likely near the end of season 10. The big bad of this season obviously is going to be the Whisperers, and more specifically Alpha, and I guess Beta as well. Two characters I am absolutely crazy about. They're my favorite villains of the series. They're terrifying, they're creepy, mysterious. They have that like monstrous side to them where they literally look like death. And then they have that more human side when that mask is off. And in some ways, it's almost a little scarier because how can a human do these things and live this lifestyle? It's just, it's messed up. Now, where we're at in the show, our characters are forced to follow Alpha's law, which is you do not cross this border. They obviously have areas marked where they can't cross. And it seems to be pretty far. Overall, this idea is going to cause a lot of problems because, I mean, like what? Our characters can never walk into that territory ever, like on that side of the earth. Are there areas that Alpha doesn't own? That's like mutual ground or has she just created a border trapping all of them? This is why the tension this season is going to be at an all-time high. Our characters can't simply live like that. This woman just came out of nowhere and claims all this land, like, what? You can't do that. Michonne and Daryl, like, they never did that. You know, Rick never did that. No, they had these communities. They just, obviously, they took over the communities. It's a little different, though. They didn't, like, threaten to kill people and all that. They actually allowed people to come in, depending, of course. Alpha just comes in, takes all of this land, and threatens death. Like, that's why she's our villain right now. Oh, and I guess because of what she did in episode 15, the calm before, the most horrific act of violence any character has ever done on this show. And yes, I'm including what Negan did to Glenn and Abraham. You can argue that in the comments if you want. At this point, though, in the comics, tension started rising. And I'm not going to focus on Silence the Whispers too much here. I'll do a video on that in the future where I talk about what that means and how it'll likely translate on the show how that's going to affect Michonne's leadership, why she actually might be for it, because it's going to help take a lot of that hate off of her and stuff like that. But just for this, I want to focus on Alpha. But it is very important to set up a very important character that plays a role in this, and that is, of course, Negan. While all the Silence the Whisperer stuff was going on, Rick was the leader. After dealing with a ton of stuff, death threats, and everything, Rick went to Negan for help. This is crucial because this brought back Negan into the spotlight back into the story, which he's been pretty absent from since Season 8. I expect this to play out in Season 10, with Michonne going to Negan for help. We see some of this in the trailer. Negan's allowed out a little bit more. He has more freedom. Negan likes to talk, and so he's going to, right? He starts hearing about this new group called the Whisperers through Lydia, through Daryl, or just... He's likely heard about them in the last few months. He's speaking to Lydia here in this scene, so... I mean, it's pretty easy to assume that Negan's influence, I think, is going to be pretty big this season. And there's one character that does not like it, and that is Daryl. It's extremely possible that once Negan's been running his mouth around the community, that Daryl goes and he has this talk with him, basically saying, don't try anything. You're allowed out here and there, and that's it. You have no part in this war and in, in, like, in this conflict. Negan, of course, is going to love that Daryl's getting so pissed off. This is going to be such a fascinating relationship this season. 
those characters, because they, like they go back. Remember when Negan did to Daryl in season seven? I love that Negan loves that Daryl is pissed off because you know Negan is just trolling him. I think that's probably the best part about Negan and why I really want him to stay on the show. He loves busting everyone's balls, making light of the darkest situations. Now, like in the comic, Negan will succeed at convincing the leader of Alexandria. In the show, it's Michonne to fight the Whisperers. Whoever is the character anyways that is not going to want to fight back, which I'm just assuming it's Michonne just based off of her past tragedies. That character, whoever the, the leader is or whatever, will decide to silence the Whisperers once and for all. Around this point, after a failed assassination attempt on Rick's life, which on the show will happen to either Michonne or Daryl, the son of one of those attackers in an act of revenge helps Negan escape. We see this kid in this photo here with Negan. His name's Brandon. They'll change his background a little bit because it's already so different on the show, but he is definitely there to set up this moment. That kid's father is at some point this season going to try and kill either Michonne or Daryl, and in that scene, one of them will do what Rick did back in season four and rip one of their throats out. And I, I hope it's Daryl, just because I want to see Daryl do that. I want to see him go to the extreme like that, but it doesn't really matter, to be honest. I just want to see something like that again. I, I hope, like, hopefully they do it this season. If Michonne or Daryl did it, it makes sense because they would be trapped, and if they didn't do it, they likely would have died, right? So hopefully, like, like they will get pushed to that, so I'm hoping that happens. But after Negan escapes, he actually kills that Brandon kid near the Whisperer border. At this point, he's headed straight for them, to join them, actually. At least we're made to believe this. This will likely happen around episode 6, like episode 5 or 6. It's going to play out around there. Aaron and a few others will be sent out to find Negan afterwards but he'll be at the Whisperer base by then. This is where he meets Beta for the first time, actually, an event that I also think is going to happen around Episode 6, maybe Episode 7, about there, if Alpha's death is to occur in the mid-season finale anyways. It could happen in Episode 9, the mid-season premiere, or in Episode 10 or 11. They can totally move it forward like that, but for the sake of this video, I'm assuming they're going to end the first half of the season with Negan killing Alpha. That's actually a big piece of dialogue that we need to have. It, like, it just it needs to happen this season. It's the moment when Negan sees Alpha for the very first time and says, I am in love or whatever, while staring at Alpha. Because at this point, it really looks like Negan just wants to join the Whisperers and get back at our people. You know, it's like, holy shit, our characters now have to deal with Alpha, Beta, and Negan, with that massive army of the dead that we saw in episode 15, I hope Angela Kang really captures that feeling well. It's important that the audience feels like Negan wasn't redeeming himself after all, because when that moment happens and he kills Alpha, that's going to be shocking. And it is kind of at this moment, actually, when the Whisperer War does begin. It did happen before in the comic with Rick deciding to build up resources and all of that, you know, and to fight back. But Dwight, at the end of issue 155, I think, 155, one, I think it's 155, says, we've engaged the enemy in enemy territory. This is an act of war or something like that, referencing finding Brandon's body at the Whisperer Pikes. Now, when Negan does join the Whisperers, or at least is allowed into their base, he is not immediately accepted. Beta actually has huge issues with him trying to get him killed or just removed from here in any way he can. Negan helps out the community a little bit by doing chores and really doing anything he can to get Alpha to accept him into the community, but it's not until later when he's actually alone with Alpha that he really gets accepted into the Whisperers. Alpha and Negan are alone at night, and after talking for a little bit, Alpha breaks down and cries, and she says that she messed up as a leader, this and that, she misses her daughter Lydia, and all of that. Like, Lydia leaving has hurt her so much. And they are definitely setting this up because of this shot right here of Negan and Lydia. Negan will learn more of who Alpha is through Lydia, which will definitely create some important dialogue between the two during this scene. Negan's gonna bring up how he knows Lydia, and etc., which is why I think Alpha is going to start to talk with Negan in the first place. And as Alpha and Negan get closer, almost in like this romantic way, Alpha tells Negan that, you know, you may very well be needed in this community. I think we need you. Like Alpha sees Negan as a very, very valuable asset. And just as Negan looks to accept this, he slits her throat, drops her to the ground, begins to cut off her head, actually does that. And this whole scene ends with Negan holding Alpha's head up in the air and says, wait till Rick gets a good look at you. A moment that I think in the show is going to be like, wait until Michonne or Daryl gets a good look at you. This is why Negan needs to kill Alpha. He needs to be the one to do it. Like, even if Carol did it, 
sure, there is something there for her. to like. There's a reason for her to do it. There's a reason people have been bringing Carol up. But Carol wouldn't do what Negan did. Alpha's death was just so iconic. Negan being the one to do it, to cut off her head and to have that dialogue like, oh, like, wait until Daryl gets a good look at you. That just feels so right. And Carol doing it would feel very off. If anything, Negan killing Alpha, taking her head back to Alexandria and showing Carol, Daryl and Michonne would be much better. This way, Carol will see that as like, whoa, you are valuable. She will see how valuable Negan is. And she'd be like, look what he did. He went out there and did that. He did that for us. I believe in him. Now, following this moment, Beta finds Alpha's headless corpse and freaks out. He says that there's, like, he's not going to allow Negan to be the new Alpha because, remember, you're the new Alpha if you kill the current one sort of thing. Beta also says no one is the new Alpha. She is the only Alpha. We are all going to just kill everybody now. This is technically the real event that causes the Whisperer War. Because tensions were rising before, a fight was likely going to happen at some point, but it was Alpha's death where shit just went insane. Negan then returned to Alexandria, showed Rick and Andrea the head, and, I mean, yeah, they didn't trust him yet, really. He wasn't, like, allowed to roam free and all that, but it was something that Rick was pleased with. The war erupted pretty fast, so they couldn't really deal with Negan right away, but I think we'll talk about that part when we get to that in the show, which will likely happen at some point in 2020, maybe for season 11. This is how I see the rest of the season playing out, though, you know, up until at least episode 9 or 10. Like, there's going to be some, like, Silence the Whispers and stuff like that, some other Negan drama in the first few episodes, but once Negan escapes around episode 5 or 6 and joins the Whisperer camp and then kills Alpha, like... Shit's gonna get really intense. Expect all of that to happen from like episode 5, 6 up until 10. The arc that I explained in this video anyways will happen in some variation around there. Because remember, there's a lot of stuff that has to fit into all of this. This is Michonne's last season. So you gotta fit that arc in. There's Eugene and the Commonwealth Discovery. You gotta fit all that in as well. A lot of stuff with Rosita and all that. There, there's so much going on. There's also the possible revelation that Rick is alive. How do they find out that's going to distract from the Whisperer War? You know, because that might result in Michonne leaving. It likely will. So on top of all of this craziness, we have all of that. So it's going to be a pretty big year for The Walking Dead. And I'm just, I'm hyped. But let me know how you think Negan and Alpha's scene will play out. Are you hyped for Season 10? Hope you all enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.